with no further ado, let's come before the Lord. O oh Lord, open our lips, and, and our, our mouth, mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are as high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made, he remembers that we are but dust. Our days are as footgrass, we flourish as a flower in the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it's gone, and its place will know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures for ever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children. On those who keep his covenant, and remember his commands to do them. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 98 Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Burst into jubilant songs with music. Make music to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of singing with trumpets and the blast of the ram's horn. Shout for joy before the Lord, the King. Let the sea resound and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy. Let them sing before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with equity. The Lord reigns, let the earth, let the nations tremble. He sits in throne between the cherubim, let the earth shake. Great is the Lord in Zion, he is exalted over all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name, he is holy. The king is mighty, he loves justice. You have established equity. In Jacob you have done what is just and right. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. He is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel was among those who called on his name. They called on the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud. They kept his statutes and the decrees he gave them. Lord our God, you answered them. You were to Israel a forgiving God, though you punished their misdeeds. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Psalm 101 I will sing of your love and justice. To you, O Lord, I will sing praise. I will be careful to lead a blameless life. When will you come to me? I will conduct the affairs of my house with a blameless heart. I will not look with approval on anything that is vile. I hate what faithless people do. I will have no part in it. The perverse of heart shall be far from me. I have nothing to do with what is evil. 
Whoever slanders their neighbours in secret I will put to silence. Whoever has haughty eyes and a proud heart I will not tolerate. My eyes will be on the faithful in the land, that they might dwell with me. No one, the one whose walk is blameless, will minister to me. No one who practices deceit will dwell in my house. No one who speaks falsely will stand in my presence. Every morning I will put to silence all the wicked in the land. I will cut off every evildoer from the city of the Lord. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 31, to chapter 15, verse 17. Whoever oppresses the poor shows contempt for their maker. But whoever is kind to the needy honours God. When calamity comes, the wicked are brought down, but even in death the righteous seek refuge in God. Wisdom reposes in the heart of the discerning, and even among fools she lets herself be known. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin condemns any people. A king delights in a wise servant, but shameful servants arouse his fury. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise adorns knowledge, but the mouth of the fool gushes folly. The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping watch on the wicked and the good. The soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. The fool spurns a parent's discipline, but whoever heeds correction shows prudence. The house of the righteous contains great treasure, but the income of the wicked brings ruin. The lips of the wise spread knowledge, but the hearts of fools are not upright. The Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, but the prayer of the upright pleases him. The Lord detests the way of the wicked, but he loves those who pursue righteousness. Stern discipline awaits anyone who leaves the path. The one who hates correction will die. Death and destruction lie open before the Lord. How much more to human hearts? Mockers resent correction, so they avoid the wise. A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. The discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of a fool feeds on folly. All the days of the oppressed are wretched, but the cheerful heart has a continual feast. Better a little with the fear of the Lord than great wealth with turmoil. Better a small serving of vegetables with love than a fattened calf with hatred. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. All, All the earth, earth shout and sing for joy. joy. For the great in your midst is the, the Holy one. one. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that He, his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. All, all the earth, earth shout and sing for joy. joy. For great in your midst is the Holy One. Mark chapter 6, verses 45 to 56. Immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to Bethsaida, while he dismissed the crowd. After leaving them, he went up on a mountainside to pray. Later that night, the boat was in the middle of the lake, and he was alone on land. 
He saw the disciples straining at the oars because the wind was against them. Shortly before dawn, he went out to them, walking on the lake. He was about to pass them by, but when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought he was a ghost. They cried out because, all the, because they all saw him and were terrified. Immediately he spoke to them and said, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Then he climbed into the boat with them and the wind died down. They were completely amazed, for they had not understood about the loaves. Their hearts were hardened. When they crossed over, they landed at Gennesaret and anchored there. As soon as they got out of the boat, people recognised Jesus. They ran throughout that whole region and carried the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, into villages, towns or countryside, they placed the sick in the marketplaces. They begged him to let, to let them touch even the edge of his cloak, and all who touched it were healed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust, Trust in, in the Lord, Lord with all your heart, heart and be, be not wise in your own sight. sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust, Trust in, in the Lord, Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust, Trust in, in the Lord, Lord with all your heart, heart and be, be not wise in your own sight. You, you have set, set us free, free to worship you without fear, fear holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight, all the days of our life. Bit of ad-lib, never heard. Never heard. I look at it as a bonus. Father, we thank you for today, for the things that will turn up unexpectedly for the blessings for the joys for the challenges for the opportunities father god we thank you that in all this day holds we are yours we reside in the palm of your hand your love overcomes the foolish your strength overcomes the wicked and father god that promise made real for us in Jesus of eternal life for the spring in our step and a song on our lips. May we worship you in all we do this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our, our prayer. Father, we pray for the ongoing evacuation from Afghanistan. 
for those who are fleeing for their safety and for their lives. Lord, we pray for those on the ground there, the, the soldiers and the diplomats and others who are in the middle of that evacuation. Whose nerves and whose emotions must be stretched. Lord, we pray for a smooth evacuation that those who genuinely need to leave would be allowed to leave. That those whose lives are genuinely in danger would be brought to safety. And we pray for the diplomatic relationships between the US and the UK and between the UK and other countries as it's increasingly obvious that we are more and more isolated on the global stage because of the words and actions of our government. So Lord we pray for good leadership. We pray for wise and patient leadership from other countries in response to our own. Lord, we pray that the diplomacy and the negotiations and the talking would bring about some level of understanding and agreement and cooperation that whatever the future of Afghanistan may be, innocent people would not suffer. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. <coughs> Father, we <coughs> pray for <coughs> all that is happening today around the world. And thank you that Fifteen students have been released by kidnappers after a ransom was paid in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. yes, and Lord, we pray for those who weren't released. And as we look at the goings on around the world, we pray for strength against forces from within and without that seek to cause trouble. Father, we pray for Algeria as they fight once, like so many other places, once again another wildfire. And Father, as we look at all that is going on with the wildfires around the world, America still having Turkey and Greece still struggle with stuff. There's been problems in France, there's been problems in Israel. America still has its biggest fire still going on. So, Father, we pray not just against terror from the hands and the work of humans, but terror as our world, out of kilter, uncared for and ignored for so long, sees ice caps melting, water levels rising, temperatures heading into places where life cannot be sustained and fires springing up everywhere because of the heat. Father God, we pray for this world and its needs this day. We pray for peace and healing and common sense and unity among the people. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear oh, our yeah. prayer.
Father, we pray for the residents of Rhode Island, where the storm Ori has made landfall and the destruction. We pray for the other parts of the world where this storm has already made his his presence felt. And while we are thankful, Lord, that we do not experience in our country this sort of this sort of severe weather. Nevertheless, we we feel for those who do, and we pray for them, Lord. The people in the United States, in the Caribbean, in South America, in that whole European, not European, in that whole Pacific and Atlantic ring where hurricanes are so prevalent and as these extreme weather events seem to be happening more frequently and being more extreme Lord we turn our prayers to your creation mm. to the upcoming COP26 convention the meeting of the G7 greatest economic powers in the world lord we pray that there would be a willingness a determination even to make the changes that are necessary to halt the damage we have done to this planet we know it is still possible we haven't yet reached the point of no return we just need to change our way of living and that needs to be encouraged and enabled by the financial policies of countries and of large business that make it a viable financially viable option to use more ecological means of energy production and packaging so many things that can be changed we have the technology we have the understanding we just need the will so father we pray for that will that your will will be done that your earth will be treated with respect and with care. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Father, we pray for the witness of the church, and as we pray for its witness, we pray for those who working as missionaries in Afghanistan are being called on to be extradited, extracted, whatever the word you want to use, the press use many from Afghanistan. As Ian Paisley Jr. stands and says, we must make sure that those who are missionaries are re returned back to their homes safely. Father God, we Thank you for the people who hear your call and minister around the world in places often of danger, far from friends and family. We pray for those who in their lives of mission have experienced oppression and violence and seen death of colleagues and friends. And Father, we pray for the safety now of all around the world, not just Afghanistan, as they minister, and we pray that those who need to be especially removed from that place will find space on the transport and will be brought home. Lord, in your mercy, 
here. Yeah. I'll work for it. God of constant mercy, who sent your Son to save us. Remind us of your goodness, increase your grace within us, that our thankfulness may grow. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Um, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. A note to say that we're going to be away for a few days. We're going off to do something to help in the home mission field, really, to make God's love known to a bunch of people who are doing stuff. So we really welcome your prayers because we're going to go and do some stuff and try and stand on the front line to provide love and care in the name of Jesus and it's always going to be a challenge I'm sure so we're back this evening and tonight at 10 o'clock and then we'll be back again on Saturday take care guys bless you thanks for being with us bye bye